Welcome to our daily newscast where we give you a quick peek at the day's top stories. I'm Julia Manchester and for Jamal Simmons. There's a lot going on today. Wildfires are burning across California and it's so bad that Governor Gavin Newsom has declared a state of emergency. California Congresswoman Katie Hill announced her resignation on Sunday after admitting to having a consensual relationship with a House staffer. This as nude images of her were published online without her consent. But probably the biggest story of the day is the death of ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. President Trump announced he was killed in a U.S. military raid over the weekend. This is why you should care. The death of al-Baghdadi explainer edition. Before we get into the details of the death of the ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, here's some background. Al-Baghdadi, originally from Iraq, rose within the ranks of extremist groups to become the self-declared Caliph of ISIS. He was also the architect behind the group's push in 2014 to establish territories and declare its own state. For context, a caliph is the political and religious leader of the global Muslim community. Now, the majority of the Islamic religious community rejected al-Baghdadi's claim but he became a beacon for thousands of rebel fighters who joined his cause. As the group grew in territory and reputation, known for widespread and systemic violence, the ISIS leader became one of the most wanted men alive, and a $25 million bounty was placed on al-Baghdadi in 2016. He may have suffered serious injuries and airstrikes over the years and was even rumored to have already died until occasionally resurfacing in audio tapes or videos. After years long efforts to bring down the elusive terror leader, President Trump announced over the weekend that al-Baghdadi had met his end. Now that we have some background, let's talk about what happened over the weekend. Al-Baghdadi, the leader of the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, was killed in a raid that the United States and Kurdish-led Democratic fighters conducted. Last night, the United States brought the world's number one terrorist leader to justice, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, is dead. Details are still emerging, but here's what we know. The operation happened early Saturday evening. Eight helicopters flew towards the compound where Baghdadi was hiding. After landing, U.S. troops stormed the compound. They broke down a wall and closed in on Baghdadi. When the leader was cornered with no way out, he detonated a suicide vest, killing himself and three children. Now, CNN reports that two of his wives were killed in the raid, two ISIS fighters captured, and 11 children taken into custody. Newsweek reported the raid, as well as news that ISIS spokesperson Abu Hassan al-Muhajir was also killed. The Syrian Democratic Forces General confirmed it on Twitter Sunday. President Trump took credit for Baghdadi's death, and while the leader wasn't as big of a figure as Osama bin Laden, this is still a big military win for President Trump, especially after receiving a lot of criticism, even from members of his own party, for pulling out of Syria. Many criticized the move to abandon Kurdish fighters, even predicting the move could create a vacuum for ISIS to reemerge. But while addressing the world in a televised announcement on Sunday in the aftermath of the raid, President President Trump sought to gain back some of the credibility and reestablish his stance on rooting out terrorism. Baghdadi's demise demonstrates America's relentless pursuit of terrorist leaders and our commitment to the enduring and total defeat of ISIS and other terrorist organizations. It's hard to know what will happen next. Some analysts think this will be a devastating blow for the organization, which has been aggressively pursued by the United States and other allied forces. Some say the death left no clear successor to carry the group forward, while others report a former Iraqi military officer who served under Saddam Hussein was nominated some months back to oversee the group's, quote, Muslim affairs and will likely take over Baghdadi's post. 
There's also speculation about whether Baghdadi will be considered a martyr and an impetus for the group to launch attacks across the world. It remains to be seen if the U.S. killing its leader halts their activity or ramps it up. Thanks for watching Hill TV on YouTube. Be sure to click subscribe and hit the bell so you know when we post new videos and head to thehill.com for all the latest political news.